As you know, this week at Olathe Northwest, we have been helping others through community service and giving back to those in need. Our week of giving has focused on many different areas to assist others across our community. It is our hope that this week will spark a drive and love for community service and all of you at ONW. Giving back, supporting your community, making where you live a better place provides the ultimate feeling of accomplishment and love for others that cannot be surpassed. Friday is Veterans Day. It is a day to recognize and remember those who have dedicated themselves to the ultimate form of service, community and country, as members of the United States military. Some members of the military throughout history have paid the greatest form of sacrifice and service when they gave their lives for our freedom. We are all forever indebted to them for their service. What you may not realize is that many veterans move on to new careers after their military service. Some of those people are around you each day. Uh, I went to the Marine Corps two weeks after graduation in 1990. So I went on the 4th of June, 1990, um, the first part of August when I was in my last month of boot camp, Saddam Hussein in Iraq invaded Kuwait. So I went on to the School of Infantry out in California and became a tow gunner. I, I feel humbled to be among so many people who have given so much. I was drafted into the Army in 1969. But I did serve, but uh, like I say, just being a part of that group, really, uh, I'm glad I was able to do that. I do feel very protective of the students and the uh, uh, staff here at the school, maybe more so than a lot of people might. I'm just a little more cognizant of that, I think. I guess the part I enjoy is being with the people I'm with when I do it. And it's nice helping people, that's obviously the big benefit. In the 90s, I was involved in a Christian ministry outreach to mainly Vietnam veterans, but all veterans. We would have group meetings to encourage one another. We would uh, try to get people involved who were, say, uh, uh, off on their own, where a lot of veterans, especially at that time, a lot of Vietnam veterans would draw away and go hide. That was what I was wanting to do at, at, at a young age. Recently, the last few years, it's been with the Marine Corps League of Kansas City, although we've done a lot of other things. This weekend's their Toys for Tots ride, so the Harley Riders come out and bring toys. We've done nurses training scholarships. We give scholarships to uh, kids of Marines and Navy corpsmen who were killed in action. Uh, there's a wide variety of things we do. I think I can appreciate what we have more than a lot of people and I can really appreciate people who serve. I love and appreciate people who serve in any capacity, especially people who serve in a capacity that keep us safe. You might think, well, I've always felt safe, but there's evil in the world, and one of the reasons why we're not cognizant of it a lot of times is because we have people standing between us and that evil, whether they know it or not. You could include policemen and, and people like that.